In this video, we'll show you how to pull forward a Minecraft server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you want to pull forward your Minecraft server and play with your friends, I'll show you how to do that. So pull forwarding basically tells your router where to send Minecraft traffic, so your server can be found and joined by anyone. But if you want a simple, quick and safe method instead, you can use Apex Hosting which is the sponsor of this video. With Apex Hosting, you don't have to worry about the risk of sharing your public IP or spending time messing with port forwarding. Instead of opening up your own network and tweaking all your router settings, Apex Hosting put your Minecraft server on their secure, high-performance servers for you. This means your IP stays private and all the tricky setup is handled behind the scene. Plus, there is automatic backup, tons of mod packs, and 24-7 support. If you want hosting that's super easy and secure, check out Apex Hosting in the link in the description below and in the pinned comment. Once your server is ready, just log into your panel, scroll down to game file, and select Minecraft version or mod pack you want to play, and you're ready to go. Alright, let's continue with the port forwarding. So the first thing we need to do is figuring out which port your server uses. Go to your Minecraft server folder, and here, look for server.properties. So right-click on it, open with, choose notepad, and select always. So now here, scroll to the line that says server port and copy the number next to it. It's usually 25565, so make sure you copy it because we'll need it in the next step. All right, now you can close the file when you're done. So you can click the start button, type Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. So it's gonna be this one. Let's open it up. Here you'll see options like Inbound Rules and Outbound Rules. So first click Inbound Rules on the left and then hover to the right and click New Rule. Now here, you're gonna select Port, press Next, and then select TCP and enter your server port. Allow the connection, then here you're gonna check all profiles and name the rule Minecraft server TCP inbound. And now we're gonna repeat the process, click new rule, and then select port, but this time you're gonna select UDP. Put the same port number, select allow the connection, check all profiles, and name it Minecraft server UDP inbound. Now we're gonna go to outbound rules and we're gonna do the same. So click new rule, select port, and then TCP, enter your port, allow the connection, select all profiles, and name this rule Minecraft server TCP outbound. And lastly, we're gonna create outbound rule for UDP. So just click new rule, select port, select UDP, and put your port number. Select allow the connection, check all profiles, and name it Minecraft server UDP outbound. Now your firewall won't block your friends when they try to join. And your server can also send data back with no problem. Now you can close this. Alright, before we go to the next step, we need to find your router's IP address so you can access its setting. Open command prompt by pressing Windows key plus R, type in CMD, and then press enter. Here type in IP config, and press enter. Look through the result for default getaway. This is your router IP address. Now what you need to do is copy this IP down, open the web browser and paste the router IP you just found into the address bar. Hit enter and you should see a login screen. Now you can log in with your router's username and password. You can check on the back of the router's or your ISP's documentation if you're not sure. Once you log in into your router, we want to look for the port forwarding settings. It's gonna be different depending on your router, but you can hover around the menus and find settings called port forwarding, virtual server, NAT, NAT forwarding, gaming, or application. You might need to open an advanced or network section, or sometimes it's hiding under security or application. If you really cannot find it, you can Google your router brand name and its port forwarding setting. In my case, I have to go to forward rules and then go into the port mapping configuration tab. You should see a button or a link that says new, add, or something similar. Mine says new. Once you've clicked that, you'll see a bunch of fields pop up for you to fill in. So the first one you have to fill is mapping name. For you, it might say service name, rule name, description, or application name. For this, you're gonna put Minecraft, or whatever you like actually. Next, internal host. For you, it might say internal IP address, server IP, device IP, or local IP. For this one, you can check it on the IP config on CMD that we did before. It's the IPv4 address, so you can copy that, go back to your router settings, and paste it here. Next, external source IP address. You can leave this blank so anyone can connect. Now I have to press add and I can set the protocol. If available, you can select TCP slash UDP, but if you can only pick one, you have to create two rules, one for UDP and one for TCP. For internal port number and external port number, you're gonna put Minecraft's default port, which is 25565. If you see two boxes like me here, just type 25565 in both. For external source port number, you don't need to put anything. Now everything is set, you can press apply and you have successfully pulled forward your Minecraft server. From the main menu, go to multiplayer, press add server in the bottom. Here, you can set your server name. You can put whatever you like. I'll just put Minecraft server here. And for server address, you'll need to use your public IP address. To find it, you can search on Google, what's my IP, and go to one of these websites here. 
And what you need here is the IPv4. So if you want to invite anyone to join, you have to share this. You can do this on your PC or on your friend's PC. Be careful on this though, only share your public IP with people you trust. Your public IP is like your internet home address, so sharing it publicly or with strangers can make your network a target for spam, unwanted connection, or even attacks. Now, if you want to be safe, you can use Apex Hosting instead. With Apex Hosting, you don't have to expose your own IP or worry about complicated router setup. But if you still want to go with the free method, just be careful. Once again, only share your public IP with trusted friends and keep an eye on your network to make sure nothing weird is happening.